So I'm in the middle of installing Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge to port. It's at 23%. There you go, my camera focused. There we go. I've got this badge I put on the back of here. But behind this badge, inside, I installed a heat sink over the CPU. And this, this thing gets really hot. Let's see, right now it is at, so it's at 100 degrees. Let's see that. Kind of bright, but yeah, surface temperature this thing hits. And right now I hit it, it was at 109. I had it charging at the same time. So this thing definitely gets hot. And I imagine the heat sink definitely helps keep it running a little bit better yeah this game takes a while to install i did it once yesterday and i don't know why i'm doing it again now i installed the new retro arcade, arcade system uh, i guess that's why i have to do it yeah yeah just thought i'd point that out see what it's at right now Here's like 87, but right here, 99 degrees under there. It gets toasty. It's a R36S. Kind of customized it. Here, here, it's not as loud as when it comes from the factory. These buttons too. Turn the music down. Let me see. You can hear them. A little bit better than what it comes like from the factory. It's really loud. The buttons are really loud. No, like this is nice. I took the badge off and I, I bought this from some guy in Poland from eBay. It took like a whole two weeks to get here. It's pretty nice. It's like engraved. I don't know, CNC or whatever you call it. It's um, it's not that thick. Yeah, maybe I'll see if I can put some pictures in of this, the heat sink that's underneath it. Yeah, this is going to take a while, you can see here. 24% still. I'm going to throw this back in the charger and get started when, I, when it's charged up. <coughs> Thank you for watching.